More than eight months after eight service members lost their lives when an amphibious assault vehicle sank off the coast of San Clemente Island, Marines are training in those same vehicles once again. Good evening, I'm Vanessa Van Hefty. ABC 10 News reporter Cassie Carlo tells us the new protocol in place right now, working to keep another accident from happening. A lengthy email the Marine Corps sent ABC 10 News Saturday details the new protocols in place to operate an amphibious assault vehicle. The last thing any commander wants to do is to lose troops. And so um, a lot of thought went into this before they would have troops get back into these AAVs. An AAV sank during a training exercise July 30th off the coast of San Clemente Island. An investigation into the accident states a combination of factors led to the death of eight service members. Quote, human and mechanical failures caused the sinking of the AAV and contributed to a delayed rescue effort, end quote. After the accident, AAVs were suspended from operation until April 9th. The Commandant of the Marine Corps allowed training to resume if an 18-step protocol is met. Those requirements include extensive qualifications and trainings, passing an exam, safety boats during each training exercise, breathing equipment on board, and completing evacuation drills on land and in the water. Marines from Camp Pendleton took the armored vehicles into the Del Mar Basin for the first time last Tuesday. They are not carrying any troops below deck and are not training with any ships. Do you think this is enough to prevent another accident? They will do everything in their power to prevent another accident, but this is an inherently dangerous business that they're in, so there can't be any guarantees. Cassie Corlale, ABC 10 News. And yesterday, Marines completed their first AAV training in the ocean since that accident last summer.